Welcome back guys, it's Small Bat here, I'm your host TC Smith. Just before we get into the video, most of this editing should hopefully be done by my good friend Josh. His YouTube channel is JJ Explores Oakwood. JJ Explores Oakwood. JJ Explores Oakwood. So be sure to check that out. And without revealing too much, next week, in a week or two, he's gonna have something in his videos. Bruh. Maybe in the background, maybe in it. I know what it is, but I'm not gonna tell you. You're gonna have to look out for that. But just keep a keen eye for something exciting in his videos. And I'm not talking about content, because it's the same content as normal. I'm not talking about anything like that. It's something you can visibly see and it is going to be great. Bruh. Like, I, I think it's good. I don't think it's the best. What it is, I don't think it's the best, but I still- Excuse me, what the fuck? I think it's good, so be sure to keep your eye out for anything like that. And I'm saying that, I might have something else to keep an eye out for as well. But without further ado, let's get into the video. As you can probably tell by the title, it is KSI vs Logan Paul. What? What? Okay. Right, I originally filmed this before the press conference, but I decided to delete all that and do it again, because why not? Now, this is amazing. Like, I can't wait for the rematch. I, I'm, ho I'm gonna hopefully watch it. I would love to go over there, but uni sports course can't really do that, can I? But the reason why I can't wait for this is because uh, it's a fellow YouTuber. It shows what we can do. Now, I have my own thoughts on what we can do about like the YouTube boxing scene in just a moment. But first, we're going to talk about why this. Why people are saying it's bad or stupid. Like, I could understand not liking boxing, but if you like boxing and you like YouTube, you should really like this because it's two of the biggest and brightest YouTube sensations of the last 10 or so years. Like, they have been slowly growing. They are both the kings of their country. And pretty much you got the father, the god, the king of YouTube is PewDiePie, but he doesn't bring this ego and this vibe about him that Logan and KSI do. They're like the princes of YouTube fighting for that second place spot to take over. Even if they don't have, even if T-Series is ahead of them, they're still the dominant ones. they got the egos, they're the ones in charge. They all have their team around them. They both succeed in pretty much everything they do. They both were at least good once. Uh, yeah. But they're both athletes. I mean, KSI was never an athlete. He was just strong, but never an athlete. You know, he did sports. He was more of a YouTuber. Where Logan Paul was always... Um, he started off YouTube young, but you can tell when he went into college and... Stuff like that. He was always an athlete first. And, and he always was an athlete. And then obviously his YouTube became more popular. So he kind of balanced it out. But he is more of an athlete. Which is like... But now they're both athletes. And it's amazing how KSI went from this chubby kid with tits. To this athlete who's now competing in a professional boxing match. Not just an amateur, but a professional boxing match. Now, what I believe, like, I really think, I don't know why, it's just, it's really amazing the, the, the coming from a place where, you know, they're mainly sat down recording, or Logan Play seems to be, he's more out and about doing stuff, you know, where KSI really only does that in Sidemen videos. But they're, they're actual boxers now. Like, they may not be the best, but everyone has to start from somewhere. No, none of these boxing people would complain if they went from, if they started from scratch and did this. It's because they're YouTubers that the problem is. But what's the point in that? As Eddie Hearn and a lot of them, and lots of people have been mentioning, 
You get all their fans will come in to watch them and will see these other fighters, these other fights and see, and, and not all of them, but some of them will get hooked. Others are just there just to see their people, not because they like boxing, but just to see their heroes, their idols, their favorite fight and hopefully win. Now from the UK, I kind of want KSI to win, but I also kind of want Logan Paul to win just because I don't know, KSI is a dickhead. So I'm kind of even with who I want to win. Who do I think is going to win? I think it's going to be Logan. Now I prefer KSI's team to Logan Paul's team, right? I prefer Vidal and all that. Lot. I, I really rate Vidal. But... Uh, and, he, and KSI might be training with Anthony Joshua, but Logan Paul is definitely training with Andy Ruiz. He's got... Um, What's his name? Let's go champ guy. I literally was just thinking of his name. Um, Shannon Briggs, who has been doing boxing for 35 years. And all that experience will come in handy where Vidal's, um, he's grew up around boxing, but, so, but he hasn't had any, he's had, what, three, four professional fights at this point. But you got KSI's training with the, Mayweather B team, as Logan Paul said in the press conference. Uh, Stitch Duran as his cut man. Leon Wills as his strength and conditioning trainer, I believe. No, Leon. And then Vidal as his head coach. While that's a really good squad and the Mayweathers will help, I just think but, um, Shannon Briggs will bring something to it. But... So I think it's kind of evened out in different ways, you know. Um, I think Vidal and his team will, uh, and the Mayweather thing, they'll bring, the Mayweathers will bring kind of that old style of, like, style of boxing and traditional boxing. But I think Vidal and his team will help bring, like, the, a new spin on to it, if you get what I mean. But Logan, for me, it just comes down to who has the more power. And I know it's not all about power. I know, but... They are both quick. KSI in the last fight seemed a lot quicker in his movement. Even in his first fight, he seemed a lot quicker in his movement than Logan Paul. But Logan Paul's jab seemed a lot quicker. And a combination of conditioning not being to the level it should be, but also KSI's body punches and stuff breaking him down, Logan Paul would have improved all that and would probably be able to... If, would be able to... You know, keep KSI outside of his reach for slightly longer. I think it'd be around about the same until KSI is able to get in. The reason being is KSI would have improved, but so would have Logan Paul, so it kind of would have went. But one of them could have improved more than the other. But Logan Paul's throwing speed is roughly the same, if not quicker. Or I'd say his speed, overall speed is slow with his punches and movement, but still really quick. But his jab is lightning quick. His jab is the quickest, I think, out of all of their punches. Out of all of the punches in their arsenal that either of them have. And I just, you look at him, he's a tank. He's what, six foot two? He's like 200 pounds or something. And he's muscular. He's got muscles, he's ripped. KSI is just starting to get into proper shape. But I think Logan Paul has the power to potentially get a knockout. Now, not saying KSI can't get a knockout, but I'm going to say it's going to be easier for Logan Paul to get a knockout than it would be for KSI. KSI would have to wear Logan down a lot more and have to do a lot. It's a lot... For you need speed, power, accuracy, timing, and like deception slash hiding a punch. So it needs to come out of nowhere. So say that JJ's worn him down. JJ will have to wear him down. Lots of body shots, lots of nose shots, lots of head shots. Wear him down. Then like go to do like a a hook and turn to an uppercut, or go to do a jab and do a hook or whatever. Really surprise them. Or you're doing one hand, and as that hand goes, bang, quicks with another. 
it's all about the surprise, the taking them by surprise, because they can somewhat brace if they see it coming. So you need to be quick, sharp. And I think Logan Paul just has the raw strength, the raw power to break through Kier's eye. And that's why I think Logan Paul's going to win. I think roughly, based on what I saw, I think JJ kind of more has the passion for boxing more. So I think that's going to push him a lot. And I think he's going to be a lot better than his last fight. But Logan Paul's a fighter. He did wrestling in college. He is an athlete. He is more of a natural. When I saw it, I think saw him as more of a natural than KSI was. Personally, I, I, I want KSI to win in the fact that he wants to become pro at this, but I think Logan Paul has the edge. I don't think it's by a lot. I think speed, they're fairly similar. Either one can take it on that. On cardio, as of this moment, this has to go to KSI. On strength and power, it goes to Logan. Height and reach, it goes to Logan. I think, but I think the more integral parts of it, I think, goes to KSI. I think he understands it more than Logan Paul. So it could really go either way, but I think it's going to go to Logan Paul. But I'm not even sure if we're going to get a knockout. We might, and everyone's hoping for a knockout. But it might just go to judge's decision. It might go right to the end. But we're going to have to wait and see. We're just going to have to wait and see. Now, lots of people know that Jake wants to be on the undercard. And he, even after the press conference, had a talk with Eddie. But now, he doesn't want to fight Gib because Gib doesn't have enough clout. But then... You can't have it both ways, Jake. You can't fight someone with clout. You can, you're can. you trying to fight Soldier Boy, someone with clout. No skill. But you can have Gibbs skill. It would look a lot better if you beat someone who can actually box, as Eddie said, by fighting a young pro. Now, I think... Um, how it should work is there should be four YouTubers on this event, right? First four... So that's two fight, two to three fights. The reason why you're thinking two to three, because maybe let let him fight some a celebrity who isn't there, and then let Inishon Gib fight because he's two out of two and he's probably the best out of the rest. Fight a limited pro all the other way around. Pro, I we'd all prefer if Inishon Gib for Jake. And Logan for KSI, but yeah, I, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't put it right before the main event this time. I would probably put your worst fight in terms of experience in clout before that before that event, and the second before the Nissan Gibb versus Jake Paul, and then I'd it midway through, halfway through, have that because when people when all the people start to st Lose interest in the you the people who came here for YouTube start to lose interest. Bam, it's there, it goes again. Then in the final, it is the that. And but instead of just saying there's no YouTube, because you look, there's lots of YouTubers who probably want to box JMX, um, Fousey Tube, Deji, Fei Sensei. So why <coughs> make? So why not have a YouTube boxing league or competition where, from this point on, what it does is that at first, so starting from now, so your history still counts, but they roll it randomly of who you fight. So they can either do a league or they can do a like Champions League type thing where you fight a few different people. Not in one night, obviously, but over the course of like a month between them, you fight a few people. And then the ones with the most ring goes on to the next round. And then it's kind of like knockout rounds of whoever wins progresses. Or you can do it like a league system 
where you have a year. So no YouTubes on this event, but between, but maybe KSI and Jake and whoever else wants to, can st the YouTubers there, the winners can stay on to be pros and fight professionally. The others can drop off and go back into the league. And then this league system, how it will work is within a year you have like two, three, I wouldn't say two, I'd probably say three, four, maybe even pushing it five fights, depending um, between this time next year. And this could be like, the, the end of the year could be like the YouTube month, if you will. Or you can do two YouTube things. So you can do two different leagues, an American league and, yeah, an American league and a UK league. And then if anyone else in the rest of the world wants to, they can either join one of those or join the other. So you have one at the beginning, one at the end, and the winners of those then. So what you do is you have like three fights, four fights between you, or you fight everyone, and that's what considered a league. And the people, the two people with the most wins fight on the undercard of the event with the two people with the most wins from the other one. Therefore... The YouTube boxing league can still the YouTube boxing scene because there are lots of people who want to continue boxing can stay about it can it can stay about instead of just kind of disappearing and leaving people unsatisfied. And then you've got the likes of Zoned, Eddie, and all this then who can then see these people who actually have talent and are actually training and competing against other people and growing their level and take them on. And then the people who fail they lose the fights. Because then it can go into like the zone. The people who lose those can go, can either stay about or but put back into the YouTube boxing scene. And then eventually you'll have the people who actually want to be boxers on Eddie's team and on the zone actually fighting competitively. And then the people who are doing, who don't want to do it, and just want to stick to boxing, can stay in that league. And obviously they're not going to be they're they're not going to be the ones who are probably going to be going through it anyway. I doubt there's anyone who doesn't want to do boxing professionally. Going to be at the top because the people who want to do it professionally will take it more seriously. But you know, think about it: JMX and Gib versus whoever else in America wants to do Tube and Jake. You know, there we go. That would be. But uh, you, get, you get my drift. Deji's up there as well. You know, you got... So you have, like, a league. They go on, they win. And then they go on to fight. And then you get to see the likes of KSI or Logan Paul, whichever ones, fight other limited professional boxers to work their way up until they become the next star. And then they get... Then think about it. One day, who knows? Logan Paul could be fighting Vidal. But, yeah. So they work their way up, etc. As But before we get into the next point, Logan Paul and Eddie spoke about potentially doing MMA because Logan Paul's more of an MMA fighter. So it would make more sense if KSI beat him this, but then agreed to do a, a UFC fight, or an MMA fight with Logan. But I think then you can do like an MMA league as well as a boxing league. Imagine that. Imagine having a YouTube boxing league, which then goes into links into um to zone and eddie's thing and then have the exact same but with the mma and it just it brings because then it's bringing youtube to a proper media respectable thing because what i'm not saying it's going to happen but say if ksi wins and ksi then goes to become a world champion of his wait i'm not saying it's going to happen but imagine if it does the media will have to take him seriously. Then, but because they took him seriously, they have to take YouTube more seriously. So YouTube will be taken more seriously and it gives another level to YouTube. So you've got normal YouTube videos, you've got these boxing YouTube videos, you've got MMA, you've got all these things. And then YouTube can be a platform where people can create whatever they want, but they can also use it as a platform to step off onto other things. Because that's what's happening now. But now it's happening... But if that happened, it would be happening to a greater level with these certain things. Like, you think KSI, Logan Paul, they've all been to places, you know, and gone to parties and, you know, that they wouldn't have if they weren't YouTubers. 
So it just kind of steps off that thing where YouTube's the platform where you can go and experience things you wouldn't normally because you're a YouTuber. And, you know, you get a lot of money from it as well. But you're a YouTuber. And then by going to those places, you then have more content to then go to more. So it's just amazing. And I think that's how it should be done. Now, on the note of this, a guy called Kieran Fawcett, who I have mentioned in my last video with Joshua Johnson, links to those two videos will be in the description below. So be sure to check those out. But Josh um, was the one who told me uh, he called me, I was on holiday, he called me, Kieran called me out for a fight. My Instagram in the description below, or I'll leave it somewhere on the screen here, so you know how to get hold of me. Message me on Instagram or Facebook. Um, whatever really just message me on something or get in contact with me via Josh and let's make this happen right I'm at uni until like December until Christmas come back for Christmas uh, go home for Christmas come back here after probably the same for Easter and summer so you can either do it I probably wouldn't say Christmas so either Easter or summer really like it is both time to train and get into shape now you haven't specified what type of martial art you want it to be I'm assuming you want to be Kung Fu, because you do Kung Fu, and you'd think I'd want to do Karate. No, I don't want Karate, because I don't want to just tap you and then back off and win the point, and whoop your ass like that. I want to be able to do something like boxing or MMA. Now, I think with boxing, I think I'll have the slight advantage in that. With MMA, I think I'll have the advantage in striking. You'll probably have the advantage in grappling, so it kind of works out to who's better, who's fitter, that type of thing. <clears throat> For those of you watching at home, cleaning me with these big guns. <laughs> And my legs, legs, legs can break your bones. They can't literally, well, not yet anyway. But that way we can do it and we can, who knows, we can start the YouTube ever mating off and after beating you and gaining more subs from it, who knows, I might be the next, I might be the, um, for it's, it might be another Logan Paul KSI situation, but with me and Logan Paul, where I've already had one fight and my second fight is him. Of course, uh, get them probably get demolished by him, he's an animal. So who knows, you don't know the physical and technical transformation I could receive by then. So hit me up, let me know what it's gonna be, Kieran. Because I'm fed up of people saying they want to do a boxing or MMA or a martial art with me for content purposes or for beef purposes that I'm gonna use for content. And then back out and pretend you either be a martial and pretend you never said it or just Stop, just say you back out and stop messaging me like other people. So like, we're both, we, and we've both had martial arts training. We both dislike each other. Why not? Like, it's fun. And heck, if you perform well, which you won't perform as well as me, obviously, it could help boost your Kung Fu career. Oh, I don't know why you do Kung Fu, but it could boost to that. And for me, it would make me seem, it would one, boost my YouTube. Two, I'd be in a way better shape, way healthier than anything. So it just boost me all around, boost me in martial arts like I want to. Maybe in the acting scene too, you know. Um, want to be a su superhero on screen. Uh, in real life too, but that ain't happening. And just all around boost, it'll boost everyone. I don't really see the downside. And plus, you know, we're not professional, so we'd have to wear more protection. Obviously, if we were doing boxing, it'd be head guard and gloves. But, you know, what'd you say? You called me out. I'm just saying, let's make this happen now. Yeah. And I will, if anyone wants to call me out, you can either hit me up or preferably do a video yourself about it. Now I won't be accepting everyone or anyone potentially. I'm just saying just in case Kieran decides to back out. Anyway, I've been your host TC Smith. This has been Back to Here. Until next time, peace out, mother fudge kinks. Yes, I said fudge kinks. Yeah. <laughs>